Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Back to the Future. Um, the game, we're here where Hill Valley should be, but there is no Hill Valley. So we're trying to find out what happened to Hill Valley. What happened to Hill Valley? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then whatever it was must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Could you help us with her? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. If you didn't know, Michael J. Fox did the voice of the I guy drive? in the truck. The wind's blowing me away. Goodbye! Mary Pickford. It's the DeLorean. Well, it's eight. One of the, the one at the head. It's a. <laughs> Mary Pickford. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. Do we have any? Uh, oh, I thought maybe we had the newspaper. Why do we still have this? Interesting. It looks like Doc's old sign, but I guess it couldn't be. Maybe not. No, I wanted to use it on Doc. Not sure what that'll do. What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Can I borrow the mop? I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Adventure game logic. Steal everything you can. <laughs> Ooh, can I wear that as a wig? So I can be beautiful? Look! <laughs> can I put the wig on? Oh, wait, I thought the mop fell apart. Oh, dang it. Cactus? I made cartoons about a cactus. Look. Okay, I'm sorry, Doc. Don't. Is that Marshall Strickland? Look! I think that's a picture of Marshall Strickland there. Shooting, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans! Not a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to. Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. 
All right, um, Edna. Um, how do I do this? An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Well, let's see. What else is back here? Anything? No. Hey, Mr. Who are you? Uh. Wait, she reminded me. <laughs> Uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name! And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names! But we're not strangers! How do I know you? You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago, remember? Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Alright, Doc, I'm on it. It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Um, dang it. <laughs> Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I don't care to remember! You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. You know there's supposed to be a town here today, right? Might be there was a town once long ago, or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell you I don't talk about any time but today? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Uh. <laughs> Uh, the saloon sign? Damn it. Is she sticking her head out? Oh, she is. I brought you this. Already got one. Um, uh, blacksmith sign? I brought you this. Already got one. I'm pretty sure she doesn't need the mop. What can I use the mop on? Not sure what that'll do. I meant the clay oven back there. Not sure what that'll do. Yeah, Marty, light the mop on fire, then light her house on fire. <laughs> Not sure what that'll do. I mean, hey, look, it's one of the frisbees, like from the movie. I ain't got all day. No, come back. Dang it.
Can you help me out, Doc? I'm sure I can get her to talk to me. Then what are you waiting for? Knock on the door. No way, Doc. She was looking at you. Here, um... Go hide? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. I don't know. I think she was getting bugged by the doc. How do we get rid of the doc? Not sure what that'll do. All right. Why don't you go hide, doc? You, she, you seem to be bugging her. Knock, knock. Who wants some cock? You see that car over there? You stole that from from Carl Sagan, and you you time jumped into the past. Me steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I wonder if maybe the tickets for the expo would have the date on them? I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Stop messing with my brain! I don't know nothing about time travel and I never did. And what's more... I never talk about the past! We must have brought something Edna wants. Don't look at me. I didn't bring anything but myself. Well, then maybe you're the answer, Doc? I brought you... him. Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! Emmett! Uh, how did I get so turned around? H have I been dreaming? Or, or stay there! It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. You've come back. Poor Doc. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Oh. Uh. I don't remember what it was. Schnookums. Uh, uh, Schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. 
What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Alright, let's see what I got left. Um, do you have that recording? You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future. Curses! I can't shake him. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe she runs into the saloon? Not sure what that'll do. I meant to use it on Edna, not on the DeLorean itself. Can I... Not sure what that'll do. Um... If I burn down her house, will that make it, like, uh... Not sure what that'll do. She can see the flash, right? I don't think that's what you're supposed to do in the game, though. Is there anything else? This hat doesn't frame her face very well. I like how we just stole her, her hat. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. Transported. Where? Back. Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is. Is what? Grandfather, big as life. Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. All right, we got the hat. I wonder if it needs a oh, hair too. It looks a bit like grandfather now, but he would never have walked around bareheaded. Yeah, I know. I know. I get the hat. Cool your jets. Not bad. Oh, Grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? why? 
They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, uh, a what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. It's got to be a saloon because she hates booze. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh yes, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. But I was just showing her that... So... That was about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... Conclusive. I bet she burned down Hill Valley. I wonder what's cooking. Sorry about your shitter. No, you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Isn't it beautiful? The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness! <laughs> Burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh oh. What is it then? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> but I lay it on too thick. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to- hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. 
but you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Thanks, Great Grandpa. Nick flies look out for each other. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it. All right, everybody, this is where I'm going to leave off. Next time, we got to try and save Hill Valley. Thanks for watching, everybody.